Question 13e. You may use the information on page 18 to answer this question. A chocolate factory sells 150 gram chocolate bars. There has been a complaint that the bars actually weigh less than 150 grams, so a team of inspectors was sent to the factory to check. They randomly selected 16 bars, weighed them and noted that 8 bars weighed less than 150 grams. The factory manager claims 80% of the chocolate bars produced by the factory weigh 150 grams or more. Part 1. The inspectors used the normal approximation to the binomial distribution to calculate the probability P of having at least 8 bars weighing less than 150 grams in a random sample of 16, assuming the factory manager's claim is correct. Calculate the value of P. Let P hat be the proportion of chocolate bars that weigh less than 150 grams. Out of 16 bars sampled, 8 weigh less than 150 grams, hence P hat equals 0.5. Assuming the factory manager is correct, the expected value of P hat is equal to 0.2 and the standard deviation of P hat is equal to the square root of 0.2 times 1 minus 0.2 over 16, which equals 0.1. Using the normal approximation to the binomial distribution, the z-score that corresponds to 0.5 is equal to 0.5 minus 0.2 over 0.1, which equals 3. So the probability that p hat is greater than or equal to 0.5 is equal to the probability that z is greater than or equal to 3. And on the normal distribution, it corresponds to this area here. Using the table on page 18, the probability that z is greater than or equal to 3 is equal to 1 minus the probability that z is less than 3, which equals 1 minus 0 0.9987, which equals 0 0.0013 or 0.13%. Part 2. The factory manager disagrees with the method used by the inspectors as described in Part 1. Explain why the method used by the inspectors might not be valid. The sample size may be too small to assume that p hat follows a normal distribution. As a general rule, the larger the sample size, the closer the sample statistics are to the population statistics.